The patient may have followed it two days back, three days back, and has now landed to your don't know where exactly it is. So you must always get a recent fresh x-ray. The idea here is to localize where the firm body is. But remember that all firm bodies are not necessarily radio opaque. <coughs> you know, pieces of meat, plastic, wood, these are not radio opaque. So if you are not sure where the firm body is, you must first localize. There is no point in scoping the patient and then trying to hunt for that firm body. If it is already beyond the DJ fracture, it is beyond your scope. If it is already lying in the small bowel, there is no point in doing it. Isn't it? So always localize. If the x-ray does not show it, get a CT scan done to localize. And CT scan will give you a lot of other information also, additional information, which again you must start thinking about because it's a delayed presentation. What if it has caused some sort of perforation? If it is impacted somewhere in the esophagus, 48 hours or three days have passed, there is a possibility of pressure necrosis happening. Has it already caused a perforation? Is there any damage to the wall? Is the complication has occurred? CT scan will tell you all those things. That's the first thing which you have. Then choose your accessory depending upon the form body. I told you about all these different the multi prong forceps, the rat tooth, the alligator, polypectomy snare. So, different keys for different locks. Now, the most important ones or most important aspect of the form body is when you are handling a sharp form. Round small objects, they are all fine. You can catch hold and then you can remove them and all. What about the sharps? Pieces of blade, pieces of glass, safety pins, thumb pins, knives, those kind of purposes. So there the worry is that, okay, it may have passed without causing a tear in the esophagus, but what when you are trying to extract it. We don't want to cause a perforation in the esophagus now. That is our concern. If it has already caused perforation, that's a, it's a part of the you know, problem. We don't want to have fresh problems. So how to prevent, what to do? You must make use of some protective accessories now. Protective accessories. So that you don't end up causing a esophageal tear. It's basically the esophageal tear there. Stomach is voluminous, isn't it? So what to do then? You must make use of this over tube. This is a long silicon tube, sturdy silicon tube which is available. We call it simply the over tube. And it is available in both lengths. You know, 45 and 25 both lengths are available. So it is something like this equal to the length of the esophagus. 40 means it will take you up to the medium. So for a stomach sharp or body, you will use a long one. If it's somewhere in the esophagus, you will use a shorter 25 centimeter. So how do you do? The idea is this. So first you are going to load this onto your scope. The over tube is loaded onto the scope shaft. And then you start doing your endoscopy and this is now in the esophagus and then under vision you push this like a rail roading. You push this into the esophagus. Okay? You push it. So then you go ahead. Huh? It's silicone. The other one, you think it's like metal. Which one? The one in silicone. It's this hard. is not an actual over to you. This is just to give an example how to use it. The actual ones are those. You know, this is not a this is not the actual overview. So this is how you load it inside. And then you go ahead, catch that firm body. So you have catching that firm body there with your grasper and pull it inside the form, this overview. Obviously you cannot pull it inside the working. So you are seeing this 
the firm body is here catch hold of it we draw it inside the over tube and now you can take the entire assembly out over tube scope holding the firm okay you must use this another point which you have to make sure is that the sharp tip is always pointed away from you what is it should never be pointing towards so this is about your sharp point body this is very very important but supposing you don't have a over tube like this you don't have over tube then what to do you have a simpler option in the form of this silicon hood so there is nothing but like a silicon umbrella which you load on to the scope tip this is a silicon hood okay so while going in you have to flip it over like this you have to flip it over and this can be used only for gasket form body that this can be used for gasket form body <coughs> so once you go in this position then you enter the scope and you go to the stomach catch hold of the form body and hide it under the hood and then remove then remove the entire scope out okay you understand how to use it so tell me then how are you going to flip it over from here to here pull put jail once you are in the stomach then first pull it back at the level of cardia when you keep pulling this will be left over then go and catch the foreign body hide it inside and then take that as go So this is about your form body movements. Any more questions? Anything you would like to discuss or ask? All good. Thank you. So.